Welcome to the Enhance and Distract podcast, episode number 38. You've got me, your host, Justin Edmonds, and my beautiful co host, Sean Silva. Hey. <laughs> I turned into a Vidal Sassu commercial. Hey. I was going to call you the Sil- Herbal Essence. Sean Silver Silva. <laughs> Sean, yeah, there's a lot of silver going on up in here now. I've heard that's wisdom, but I still feel like I graduated high school yesterday. So, well, you know, you're only as old as you feel. That's, That's right. not true. That's not true. <laughs> not, at all. not at all. Bet you felt young till you tried the splits, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. I say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's... It's my go-to thing. Uh, uh, anyway, what brings us here today? Okay, right? so, t- so today, today we've uh, we've been kind of kicking this idea around for a while, and we've had this conversation. We've stopped ourselves from having this conversation, yes, multiple times because we want to have it here. Oh, that conversation, yes. And uh, <clears throat> it's kind of one that is kind of evolved because, like, I, I used to watch these videos on YouTube of church tech tours. Mm -hmm. and thought they were super cool and wanted to do them so badly Yeah, until I realized what they were actually doing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, man, I don't really feel like these are super healthy. And it's because it's kind of creating gear lust and, like, the whole, like, new gear day and, like, you know, those kind of things. It's difficult because it's, like, there's part of you that's, like, excited that you finally get new gear, right? Because it's church world. So, like, most churches, like, you sit with your same equipment for like 20, 30 years. Yeah. So when you get new equipment, you're like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, and we're, we're used to nowadays, too, an app world where our app gets updated like twice a week, right? So we're, we're like, what's the new thing? What's the new thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Or like, you know, a new iOS or comes out, you know, a new software comes out, you know, yeah. once a year. Absolutely. You know, those type of things. So it's like, what's the balance of being excited versus like actually like lusting over like new mm-hmm. equipment, right? Yeah. And I think for me, uh, what I've seen is there's a difference of like when I see, because there's been some of these like videos that have felt very informative, mm-hmm. right? And then there's been the other ones where it's like, okay, well, here's our Digico SD7 and our K2 rig from L Acoustics and you know here's our Panasonic Vericam rig and it's like well, 99.9% of churches will never be able to afford any of that right. why are we getting this tour right N- nor do 99.9% of the churches out there need right those those things exactly right? not the, i mean those that gear is great right is. and that's Absolutely. and that's the thing is like it's, i've used plenty of vericam back in the day <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's one of those like you know i go to car shows because you know i love seeing like ferraris and lamborghinis and high-end corvettes and you know those kind of things but it's like i'm never gonna use those yeah but like i don't i just feel like it's creating something like when there's not other forms of that mm-hmm. out there right it's not just like oh i'm gonna look at all of these videos of all these people doing tours of like you know the the danley you know system for the 100 person church and how they're using their compact x32 you know and like all these kind of things like there's not people there's not enough people that are doing those type of tours of their setups and how they're doing it on a simplistic level sure. comparatively to then also getting the high-end ones because it's mm-hmm. in It's not like we can't learn something, but we're also not seeing the inner workings and like the actual functionality of these rigs, right? Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, a dude at elevation going, yep, here's my, my audio console. You know, we use it because it does 254 channels. (laughs) And it does 256K sample, right? You know I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which again is like super cool. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah. again, like just it feels more like lust rather than like I'm trying to like be educated or learn. And yeah, so. as, as far as like the feeling that it generates within. Yes. You. Yeah. I, I definitely understand um, what you're talking about. This gear lust or, you know, the Bible tells us not to lust after or to envy, right? Yeah. To covet. And a lot of times what's happening in these videos, and, and I think they, they're they not meaning to, or right. at least most yeah. of them aren't meaning to, right? Yeah. It's kind of, it, and it depends, I mean, when it's the manufacturer who's presenting it and saying, hey, let's go take a look at, you, know, you mentioned like Elevation or whatever. Right. Um, like Panasonic did a whole workup on their per- Panasonic right. Berry Cam set up the Elevation did. Out. You know, this right. is, they're using it, they're doing this. And so then you get somebody who 
their church wants to do something really cool. They want to put out uh, their their services, and they're looking at essentially looking up to their the the, the leaders of the pack, if you will. You know, right. or like who's setting the precedent here? Yeah. And they're seeing these other churches, whether it's Bethel or it's Elevation or it's something coming out of you know one of the churches in Australia or something of that nature. Yeah. And it, it's like okay, that oh yeah, that looks really good. That's where we want to get to. That's where we want to get to. Now I see this video online that says, "Hey, it's Church Tech Tours, and it's taking me through one of you know my heroes of the or the champion of the look or whatever it is that we're yep. trying to accomplish here." And um, which which already you know, hey, get your priorities straight. It's about getting the word of God out there. Yeah, first and foremost, you know, enhance, don't distract. Right. So you're, you if you yourself are being distracted from the point, yeah, everybody's going to get distracted. But then you start to see the the gear that they're using, and if you're not, um, if you haven't been in the industry long enough, or you haven't been too well educated on how to get the most out of what you already have, you're going to look at this as in order to ever get close to that look or to do this properly or to you know whatever. I need to have what they have. Yeah. And so then you start to maybe lust after it, and then it turns into this covetousness, you know, type of thing. And you're, you, you know, I've got to have it. I want to have it. Uh, if I don't have it, I can't do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Versus the the other ones that you kind of mentioned, which are more of a educational thing, where it, it can be like a church tech tour, but it's, I, f- I feel like even in the in the bigger ones of the say, let's explain to you how we got to the point that we needed this, right. Where we started, why we arrived here. Yep. Because almost nobody, and I say almost because sometimes this does happen, starts with two hundred and fifty nine thousand channels of audio and you well, know, yeah. And so and, for and for, for instance, and, like when I was ta- chatting with Chad Vegas, who was at Bethel originally, when they decided to like go all in on video, right? Because mm-hmm. they didn't do much in video a handful of years ago. He was like, Yeah, we we were a hundred percent black magic through and yeah. through. Cameras were black magic, switches were black magic, routers were black magic, everything was, right? Now, like you'll see their guys go, Oh yeah, we got these reds and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's because it's it's evolved, right? And like they have probably over a hundred thousand people watching their online content every week. Right. And so it's like obviously like when you have that type of volume, the quality goes up with that type of volume, just yeah. like with YouTube channels, right? As we've gotten more volume. We've gotten more stuff in our studio and all those kind of things. And so, yeah, I think that idea of like, I don't have a problem with the idea of church tech tour videos. I think they're a great idea, which is why I enjoy them, right? Mm -hmm. And for me, being an integrator, you know, I watch them because I'm like, oh, what do you have? Yeah. You know, like, I'm interested. But Mm -hmm. like, I would be interested, like you were saying, like, hey, like, so we're here, you know, we're on this Digico. Uh, This actually replaced three years ago our Yamaha M7 that we ran for 22 years yeah. and we were constantly pegging it and we wanted to grow. So we got this three years ago and we were immediately able to double our inputs. You know, mm-hmm. we were, what doubling our inputs meant was keyboards were now stereo instead of mono. You know, we were yeah. able to stereo guitars now to get some of the effects we were trying to get. We went from six channels of tracks, you know, to mm-hmm. 28 channels of tracks and you know, whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever. Right. Yeah. And have that explanation. And I think that that's what I, what I miss from a lot of these things that would make it feel more educational mm-hmm. rather than look at my cool shiny toy that yeah. you're never going to Yeah. Have. Let me, let me look at this and then you can create your Christmas list and then cry when you don't get it in the right. morning. Right. Because sometimes it, <clears throat> it's, you know, I've been hearing a lot of this and I, I like the things that get said versus the things like how it's like received. Right. Mm-hmm. Like when I, you know, when I've been hearing it say like, Hey, you look great today. You know, that could be received as you thought I didn't look great last Yeah, yesterday last I looked like poo poo. Right? Or like, oh, have you been losing weight? Like, it's a compliment. Right. Oh, so you thought I was fat. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like kind of that, like, how things are said versus how things can be perceived. Yeah. And so it's like this idea of, like, I'm better than you because I have this cool gear, even though that's not the intent behind yeah. it. And I think that that's why just, like, these, you know, Hey, look at our cool gear. <laughs> like, well, and I, th- I, I think that's the tough. That's a tough point. So, on the psychology side of that, right? Yeah. Um, there are people that will hear it that way, no matter how you present it. Exactly. Because they come from an inferiority complex, or right. uh, you know, like I'm the victim mentality, or like there, there's all these different things that can be playing into that. So, 
even if it was a more educational one, whatever, it's kind of like, look at all these people just showing off their stuff and the, I can't even, you know, whatever. And they're just trying to show them it. And, and they'll just always yeah. hear it that way, no matter how you, how you phrase it. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think one thing that we, like if, if we put like encouragement out to everybody, um, if you're if you, if you see these these church you know tech ones and you're thinking man you know I don't have that stuff I don't you know I, so therefore I, I can't do I can't do this thing a you might be able to the first thing I would encourage you to do is if that's the look that you you know that they have or you see the look mm-hmm. that you like now you know the gear that they have okay cool what gear do you have and what needs to change with what you already have? Because really it comes down to what we've got audio, video, and lighting, the full AVL spectrum there, right? And they've all got to work in concert with one another. Right. And a lot of times your camera, even if not the greatest, say it, it only does 1080. It doesn't do 4K. Well, that's fine. Who's streaming in 4K? You know, but say your Transformation Church. There you go. <laughs> one church. And who can watch it in 4K? Yeah, not there. They're full of 4K HDR now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you've got whatever camera. Yeah, it's only 1080. Yeah. And it a doesn't. Bird, a Bird Dog P200. A Bird Dog P200, whatever, you know. Um, and you, the image doesn't look the greatest. Well, one of the first things that you need to look at then is. Which is not true about the Bird Dog P200. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> we're not speaking ill of that. <laughs> so let's look at lighting. Right. Nine times out of 10, that's where it comes from. The lighting isn't yep. correct. And it's not that you don't have the right lighting fixtures, maybe, but maybe it needs a different modifier on it. Yep. Maybe it needs to be repositioned. Maybe we're not following, you know, standard three point lighting and, and we need right. to go with three point or we need to increase uh, the backlight or the face light or, or whatever. Yeah. Get your lights repositioned, get them at the right contrast. Stop using, um, you know, start using more. Uh, contrasted colors or complementary colors instead of like same color that he's wearing is the same color that's behind him. You're creating eye strain and people are tiring out and they don't want to watch the rest of the video. Yeah. And then the quality of the audio getting into, into the picture as well. Start looking at those individual things. And with some cameras, there's even great tutorials out there. I mean, it's, it's the world of YouTube, how to make, how to, (laughs) how to make your Canon look like, uh, a red, how to make it, you know, what, what settings you to get it closer, to get the Alexa color space, to do these yeah. different things. And, that's uh, something you taught me. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know, magic lantern on the Canon stuff or back in the day. Yeah. Is that still a thing? You know, and the, yeah, it's yeah. really still, it's still, thing. still doing a thing. They've actually, there's a couple other cameras they've added that aren't Canon as well. So what are they what, like? What's magic lantern doing now? Um, cause before it was yeah. like raw, like hack your camera so you could do raw, right. Raw right. recording. Most of the cameras do raw now. Yeah. Uh, some of them, well, a lot of them just do log, okay. but they don't do raw. Uh, and okay, so gotcha. a lot of it's still getting you to do internal gotcha. raw recording, that makes sense. Uh, which isn't really going to help anything with streaming side of stuff, but sorry, you know, whatever, <laughs> but, but research and see, and see what you can do to get the equipment that you have to get closer to that look and educate yourself on lighting and audio and those things as, and as opposed to just wanting the next best thing. Cause the next best tool is, is going to be just as crummy looking if you don't know how to use it yeah. appro- appropriately. Yeah. I think the other like thing that I would say is if you guys are a smaller like setup that's actually working really, really well and it's like mm. really thought out, record that yeah explain what you're doing while you're doing it right i i make jokes about you know like our compact x32 but like i mean let's be honest like the x32 is still a great console for today right yeah. for what's doing and you could have some great systems for your 100 person church 50 person church that a lot of other people could benefit from right and i'll the idea of being able to have a connection point to someone online and go, oh yeah, they have the same console that I have. Oh, they have the same speakers, or they have a you know another manufacturer's version of the same speakers I have, right? Right. You know, so it's like, oh okay, well they have a Sennheiser, I have a Shure, but they're you know they're both the same level of microphone. Yeah. You know, so it's like okay, that all totally makes sense, and you know, posting those right. You know, yeah. It's it's not necessarily about becoming some famous YouTube star or getting a bunch of subscribers, just getting the content out there so that people can find it. Yeah. You know, and if you guys want to record that and don't want to post it on your own and you want me to post it, like send them to me, Justin at enhanced com. I'll take a look at them. Maybe we'll put it together like a little yeah. collage and we'll throw some out there. That'd be kind of cool. I think that would be awesome to go through and maybe, you know, there's some that we can visit here or while we're out on the road doing different things. I mean, like, 
We're going to be going to a church in Lovington in the next couple of months yeah. to talk with the pastor up there and kind of talk to him about like, cause they're, they're a church plant. They're small and they kind of did that kind of stuff. And yeah. so maybe we can do a little church tech tour of, yeah. of his facility and figure out why he did what he did. And, you know, they've bounced from M32s to SQs to, uh, oh my gosh, I keep blanking on what the Waves one's called. LV1 system. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, now they're, you know, considering going back to the SQ series for, you know, because it's like, it's all like, it's evolving, right? What yeah. they're doing evolves. Yeah. And so it's like, hey, this fits us right now, right? And they sit there for a year or two and then they start going, okay, the next step is this. Well, can this do that? No. Mm-hmm. Okay. What well, can? Oh, okay. Well, we the can go back. We, had. Yeah, we can go back to th- to this version, and we lose some of these things, but because there's been some advancements, right? Yeah. And so some of that, you know, obviously is going to vary depending on what you're doing as well. You know, not everyone's switching out their console every couple of years, right? You know, uh, but uh, this church is obviously like they're growing and they're doing a bunch of different things. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, it would be kind of cool to you know maybe we can you know double dip and get a couple different pieces of content out of him. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. I mean, whether you know out on an integration or, you know, if I'm out shooting another documentary somewhere or, or commercial or, or whatever, like finding small churches and that have those technological advancements to like yeah. maybe talk with over the weekend and, you know, kind of get in. Yeah, let's like, throw that yeah, out there. You? If you're in the Midwest, we're in Grand Rapids, Michigan, shoot us an email or put in the comments, where are you at? If you think you have a system worthy of like being on film and you don't know how to do it, Maybe we'll come down and we'll film it and we'll talk to you. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be great. It'd be great to get that out there for other people. That's encouraging, right? Like, yeah. I, I mean, how many times have we had to look online for like, you know what? We don't have the budget to do X, so how can we do it with what we do have? And you find great hacks for certain things, or sometimes they don't exist, and we have to come I mean, we're them. literally sitting in a studio full of them. Yeah, we're sitting in a studio full of hacks. There's two of them, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. At oh, least, just, get just one. Just one. <laughs> just one hack. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, we've got – I mean, we do have uh, – a lot Sorry, just saying, Jordan, can we like, cut that from the video? Yeah. Is that possible? <laughs> that, just that one part. Um, you know, there's all kinds of uh, hacks that we've learned over the years for audio, for lighting, for the camera stuff and things like that. And, you know, yeah. we'd love to share those types of things to uh, help people understand that it's not always an increase in budget that you need to make things better. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of times it's just the knowledge and the know-how with the tool that you have. Yeah. Um, but if we can... Yeah, tour some other facilities and, and get the word out and, and help you guys share that information with other smaller churches trying to do like things about how how it works for you guys. That'd be great. Yeah. One of the other things about this whole kind of topic that I've seen is, oh, well, I don't have that kind of budget, right? You know, like mm-hmm. These churches have, you know, hundred thousands of dollars in budgets, you know, and I'm never going to be able to accomplish that. Yeah, but I mean... The, there's there was one post on that church tech page that I saw that was talking about this and it was I don't know probably five six years ago, and they were talking about like because I think Gateway had just gotten something new, and someone had like commented that exact thing right oh well they've got hundreds of thousands of dollars and uh, you know because I think they do like a big like Christmas play every year that looks super professional yeah and that person was like, oh, you know, kind of feeling, you, you could tell that they were like, oh, well, our Christmas program sucks compared to that. Yeah. But we don't have hundreds of thousands of dollars to do yeah. that. And I think one of their tech people got on there and was like, yeah, but you have to understand, like, we're a church of like 30,000 people. Yeah. You know, if I was in a church of 3,500 people, I wouldn't have a hundred thousand yeah. dollars budget. <laughs> yeah. Right. And I'd maybe have like, let's say a $10,000 budget, right? Yeah. And if I was in a 350 person church, you know, I may have like a $5,000 budget or a $3,000 budget, you know, whatever that may be, you know, and if you're in a 35 member church, you probably have a $35 budget, you know, where you get to buy a new microphone every, you know, two years. years. (laughs) (laughs) And he's like, like it scales, right? Mm -hmm. Because like you can't expect, and that's. That's what I think all of this kind of like plays into yeah. itself, right? It's this idea of like, we want to look at the cool big things, yeah. but like our budgets are never going to like, yeah. you know, adhere to that, right? Yeah. Like, so most people are never going to be able to afford a Digico, no matter like if it's the once every 15 years that they replace a console or it's not. It's like not everybody's going to need one. And not everyone's going to yeah. need one, right? Yeah. 
And it's like, I had a client that was like, well, do I do an Avantis from Alan Heath or do I do an SD, SD9? And I was like, well, you could do an Avantis and you could take that extra, like, I don't know, like ten, twelve thousand dollars $12,000 and put it towards like educating your staff, your volunteer mm. staff, or, yeah. you know, like paying for them to go somewhere or buying some sort of online, like educational thing that they could all yeah. be a part of. Um, or you could pay someone to be a part-time staff member yeah. for consistency, <laughs> yeah. you know, and they were like, Oh my gosh. Yeah. I love that. And then, you know, they bought the Avantis. Yeah. And I think that those are the things that we need to start looking at too. Right. Cause like yeah. there's too many times where I'm like, I've seen, do I buy the X32 or do I buy the SD9? Well, those are wildly different. Wildly different. <laughs> what are your needs? Hold yeah. on. Let's discover a couple of things here. And every single post. What do you post, need? What are you trying to do with this? Every single post. Should I buy this or should I buy this? And yeah. that, no matter what it is. I mean, it could literally be, do I buy a, you know, the, you know, the equivalent of an SQ6 or the Yamaha version, which I'm drawing a blank on. That's because not that the QL. Oh, the Q. Yeah. yeah. That's newer. So I'm, it's yeah. not in my brain. Yet. Um, I don't do a whole lot with Yamahas. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and they're very comparable, mm -hmm. but then like, well, we don't know what you need. Like yeah. maybe both of these are a bad option, you know? Yeah. Like, they, <laughs> they could be possible that neither one is the correct solution for your right. But scenario. potentially they saw that everyone had this thing right. and like, they were just like, well, this is what I have to have to, to say, Hey, listen to this live stream. It sounds amazing. We need to get the same console is the wrong idea. Yeah. What you need is the same training. What you need is a full understanding of sound scan. Education. 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 The same education. It's true, right? And and people that are going to retain it, like, you know, volunteers that, that get it. Like, I love audio stuff. I'll eat it up. I'll watch videos on it. I'll go out and I'll practice it. You know, we're in a cool situation where we have consoles, you know, at our reach kind of left and right. And yeah. so we can play with it. And the same thing with cameras. I mean, it's why I'm in film and telling story visually. Like, I can get over there and mess with it, you know, on the spot. Get into your equipment, dive into it. See, have you really reached the bottom of what that console can do? And if you have, then maybe start looking at it. If you if you are really aren't like if you're still you know working with one of those old analog Mackie twelve channels that has built in effects, and you're wondering why you can't get the the right sound out of it, you may have totally maxed out what you can do on that particular console, and it's time to uh, to move on in life. <laughs> But that's not. <laughs> but that's. But that's not always the yeah. case, right? Uh, like, say you're on an X32, and the question is, is, is it time to upgrade? If the only thing you've ever done on the X32 is just add a little bit of compression and EQ, well, guess what? There's a, there's still a whole lot more that can happen. Now, if you're running into an issue where your high boxes would be better at a 96k sample rate, and your X32 maxes out at 48, um, and you realize though you've had it set in 44 one this entire time. Okay. Kick it over to 48, you know, and then live with that for a little bit, start invoking some of the effects racks and things that are built into there and make sure it's up to date too. Uh, the last six X 32s slash M 32s that I had to run into, um, we're still running on the firmware version 2.6 and they're in the fours now. Okay, guys, this is so many behind. He was like, yeah, I really need to upgrade this console because man, it can't do this. It can't do this. I was like, yeah, they can. What are you talking about? I start going through the menus. I'm like, oh, well, here's the problem. <laughs> of course it can't do that because you know, you can't do channel by channel routing because you're still on version yeah. 2.6. So you're in blocks of eight, you know, or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Find Isn't it still technically blocks of eight, but like you can like soft patch them. Well, now. yeah. So you could say, I want this block of eight to be determined by me. Gotcha. But then you can still do it one for one, or you could tell all thirty-two or forty-eight to be just decided by you. But in blocks of eight, yeah, they still have that in a weird, in a weird kind of way. So you got to make sure you turn whatever block of eight you're trying to individually <laughs> set and say, I I determine this, and then yeah. you know go through. But I, I think I think our challenge, what it sounds like to me is not to let other people's gear stir up lust mm -hmm. in, in, in you for that gear. Right. But instead... Or shame. Train, or, or shame, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't look at mine. It's just... Uh, but allow it to bring about maybe ingenuity. Yeah. Curiosity into, hey, what is is there a way for me to make that happen with what I have? Yeah. Is there a, you know, and I mean, I mean, that's one I've heard you on the phone with, with your clients in the past, you know, talking about stuff where they're like, well, I've got, you know, I want to make this happen. I want to make this happen. You ask them what they have and you're like, well, have you tried doing this, that, or the other thing? Cause 
should be able to do that. I mean, and then you only have to buy this $40 part instead of $4,000 worth of gear, you know? And yeah. Like, oh, what? What are you talking about? And, you know, kind of, but I mean, like you've got that heart too. Like, Hey, let's, I mean, well, that, um, that Easter program, what, we had like a $10,000 budget. We pulled off a $30,000 presentation or so. It was some weird, like, you know, yeah. everything that we had to figure out how to do Yeah. because they were sold on the idea, just not the budget. Yeah. But we still had to make the same idea. Happen. Yeah, we were like, hey, <laughs> we want to do this. And they're like, cool, you have a third of the budget. Yeah. And we were like, hmm, how right. do we do this? And I mean, we did projection mapping, you know, or like 3D elemental mapping stuff. Well, yeah, I mean, the video of... we made, like we didn't have the budget to buy all of the, like the stock footage that we wanted yep. to buy. But we didn't have the money because the, the licensing services for music wasn't around. It wasn't around time. yet. Yep. So like we couldn't license the music we wanted. So like we had to figure out how to compose our own music yep. everything was from <laughs> scratch and you know and we everybody had, we know hey you will you go walk in front of this thing i'm just gonna film don't worry i know it feels weird but we're gonna film this real quick and you're gonna you're it's gonna look great don't your worry. wife was the funniest because she was like she's so used to it but like yep. this was a weird ask hey we need you to meet us at the cemetery and we need you to walk through the cemetery yeah. <laughs> while we follow you with a car yep. what's this for it's for easter don't worry <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should. I, I I have a copy of that. Maybe we should insert a clip in this. Uh, people can see what we're talking about. <laughs> hey, that was a great video. We also get to see your hands sifting through some dirt. Oh, that's true. Show? Yes, yeah. I do remember that. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, my wife couldn't make it to the second shoot with the crane on the beach. Oh yeah. So there's a stand-in. Yep. And that's Jen. <laughs> yep. And you see her phone sticking up out of her back pocket by about this much because she had like whatever the max plus extended I version mean, of her phone. <laughs> she's a tiny person. I mean, also I think she's that. like three foot six. Even a regular regular phone <laughs> <laughs> sorry eric <laughs> <laughs> oh just but all the things that we had to go through, just the ingenuity that went behind it you yeah. know to to make it uh to make it happen and in the end everybody's just like what in the world you know like yeah. how'd you guys pull this off and yeah that was a good time so <laughs> <laughs> sorry my reminiscence brain. I was like yeah, going through like all the things we did. <laughs> oh my! I know. Yeah, the list seems endless. And when I think about it, I'm like, I know we didn't sleep for three days straight. We burned up two Mac Mac Pro. We trash cans. Turn, yeah, twelve the twelve thousand dollar like yeah. full bore ones. But those yeah. those we, Mac Pro we trash we cans were them. trash cans. They we were absolute garbage. Up. We ate them up. Yeah, like hardcore, <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> we were in. Uh, we were in a what was because our office was an old nursery room, right? And so like yep. it had like a like those mini bathrooms that they yep. converted into an office for us. Yeah. So like we're in this essentially this child bathroom. <laughs> yeah. The two of us who, by the way, are human furnaces, both of us. <laughs> With Mac Pros that are rendering like crazy, yeah, just spitting out heat, and there's like no ventilation in that room. Roast an oh, egg over the or cooking it, whatever you know, over the top of it. Egg, <laughs> roast an egg. Yeah. Roast eggs. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, to, to wrap up. Yeah, I think the big thing that I would say is try try really hard when you go and watch those things to like understand that all of those churches. I mean, let, let's go back to the gateway thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is when you when you re have you read uh, Robert Morse's A Blessed Life? Okay, so like he talks about like the starting of Gateway, right? And okay. how they they rented a school gym, and like then they installed a projector, and then they left it there for the school when they left and mm. stuff like that. It's like Gateway's a thirty five plus thousand member church now. They started in a school gym. Yeah, you know, everyone has to start somewhere. Yeah. And honestly, not everyone's going to become a thirty five thousand member church. It's just not the reality, yeah. right? It's not what God has for every single church. Yeah. And so the idea of being able to look at those churches and go, they started somewhere, right? There's reasons why they have the things that they have. You know, I'm sorry, a church like Gateway or Elevation or Bethel aren't going to be running a compact X32. It's just not going to fit their needs, right? right. So they're obviously always going to have different gear than what most of us have. And that's why I think it's 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 fun. It's okay to watch those things and go, oh, that's cool. Like, I'll look at that Ferrari. Like yeah. that's a real pretty car. Yeah. You know, like admire the craftsmanship, admire the, the coolness of the tech. Right. Cause it, that's my thing. It's like, it's interesting. Like, wow. Like, Oh, that has Clang built in. Oh, what's Clang. Oh, Clang is this like 3d spatial, like monitoring system. Yeah. Like that's super cool. Most people don't need that. Right. But it's super cool. It's, super it's, cool. it's interesting. Yeah. Right. You know, so it's like being able to come at it with those type of things. And that's what I do. Right. And I'm like, Oh yeah. Like, yeah, I, I want to know what Bethel's doing. Like, yeah. 
How'd they get that look? Like, that's cool. Oh, that's an LED wall? I didn't think that was an LED wall. I thought that was a curtain that, like, light was shining on it. Yep. Or I thought it was an LED wall, and it is just a curtain with it light is shining. It is just a curtain yeah. You know, yeah. and it's like... Yeah, we did this like, oh, that was uh, that was what it was um, when Kim Walker came to uh-huh. our church and they hung that shark tooth screen. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this that is a shark tooth screen that we had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you could see through it until you shine light on it. Yeah. And it was like, wow, it like it was black. So it was like when the room darkened out. Yeah. Like it disappeared. Yep. And it was like, whoa, what's going on? So it's like, and that is significantly like more affordable than like trying to get like like theatrical draped curtains that, you know, yeah. all those kind of things that, you know, don't really like reflect light the way they're supposed to. And like, you have a giant white curtain that doesn't disappear when you're trying to do blackout things yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. So yeah, there's just tons and tons of those things. And like, if you're going in it with the heart of, I just want to see what people are at. It's interesting. It's cool. Like I just, I really don't want people to like beat up themselves. You know, the enemy yeah. wants you to feel like, Oh, I shouldn't do this. Yeah. Because it, I don't got the gear. Pastor won't buy me something. You know, they always tell me no. Some reason the parking lot always has to be paved every time I go to buy something. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> talking really, about. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. And that's 80K <laughs> for six spaces. You know how many times my <laughs> AV budget for clients have gotten cut because of, you know, a parking lot being paved yeah. or like air conditioning units being yeah. fixed? I would be a millionaire. For if I got like a dollar every time, every time you're told that. <laughs> Here's something to think about for you guys, though. <clears throat> and then we'll wrap up. A uh, this, a new sound system is nice. New cameras are nice. Yeah, that kind of stuff is nice. Um, but a church congregant tripping on broken asphalt and suing the church is not. <laughs> so we got to repave. So forget about new cameras. Forget about new sound systems, guys. It's just not happening. Tell your pastor, hey, I think we need to repave the lot. That's no, <laughs> no, what I was going to say. No, if they break their foot on their way in, we'll just pray for them. Pray for them. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> no, I want to sue you. No, I need a <laughs> new microphone. You can't sue me. Prove to me that you're broken. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is getting weird. It's not oh. broke anymore. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, I. Yeah, <laughs> you lost your train. Of <laughs> yeah, I totally did. If we, uh, that's that's really easy for me. If we, um, if we look at these these church tech videos as encouragement, yeah, you know, to a hey, it's a place that you can get to, but you know, and like I said, to to inspire the ingenuity and to and to take us to those places, and and uh, then. I think it's okay, but I really would love to uh, hear what people are doing out there that are on a smaller budget. That yeah, agreed. Comment down below. Let us know. Send us some pictures. Send us some videos. Justin at enhancedstonedistract.com. Sean doesn't have an email yet. I don't. <laughs> or you can e me e me, or you can email me at Justin. <laughs> oh wait. I mean, you do share the same email with me. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah. Any last thoughts on on that kind of stuff? I mean, I'd... no. That's that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. So, oh, th- this this is what I wanted to say before I lost the train of thought. Okay. You say that while I look up some notes. He's gonna look up some notes. I mean, I'm listening. He, you're listening. Yeah. While he's uh, driving and texting at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh. If we look at these church tech tours and it and we take that kind of you know either the offended or the 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 gear lust or the envious type of thing then it is a distraction. Mhm. Right. Yeah. But if we look at it as something that is inspiring and whether that is something you can aspire to, you know, it inspires you to make some changes in what you're doing as far as the lighting goes or it inspires you to learn your own equipment more, then it's enhancing. Right. And I think that's what we're talking about. We want to enhance and not to distract. Right. And so I think, you know, the message is almost twofold. Hey, for the people that are doing the church tech uh, tours, um, if you could come at it more from an angle of like, okay, how did you end up here? And why are you using what you're using? Started Is from this, the bottom, now we're here. Yeah, <laughs> still at the bottom because there's too many stairs. Um, <laughs> it, it, but we... Uh, Uh-oh, did we just get flagged? 
If we, we might have. <laughs> <laughs> the copyright strike. Um, if we. Speaking of copyright strikes, check out this video right here oh, about yeah. Sean's head. Might even be over my head. <laughs> if. <laughs> See, there goes that train again. <laughs> and hands don't distract, right? And I you just look distracted at them, them for inspiration <laughs> yeah. and something to aspire to rather than, you know, oh, I'm jealous of, I'll never get there, whatever. Then it, then right. it becomes a distraction. But if you're making these church tech tours, and, and we can uh, encourage those those of you that are making them that have already kind of reached uh, maybe the higher echelons, if you will, of, of this type of thing, um, to talk about how you got to where you are, what the progress was and why you have that and maybe what type of a scenario is a fit for this and what is not right you know to kind of explain that type of thing to kind of curb some of that and then again you know if you're you're in a smaller church and you want to share that kind of stuff we'd love that shoot that over to justin at the email that's down below that he already mentioned twice and uh you know or get a hold of us we'd you know if you're near us and we'd love to come and, and tour your facilities and help you share your story on how you make what you do happen. Yeah. Well, let's wrap this up. And uh, with a reminder of, as we talk about all this, right, community is going to be the biggest thing for that, right? Mm -hmm. And having a community. And there's obviously a lot of communities out there. And one that we are currently working with is Wave. Yeah. And they have a conference in that's happening in September on the 12th or the 14th yes, in Louisville. We so, actually know some of the speakers. Yeah, we do. We know a couple of them. They're super great guys. Uh, go to wave event dot co dot co not dot com dot co c o c o to register co. get your tickets and be a part of another community yeah be a part of a community learn um these are also some people that educators uh, yep that educate and um believe in enhancing the message and, yep. and not being a distraction and educating for that, that same kind of reason like hey how do you use the tools that you have yep. before you Exactly. To, uh, and what are some tools, like what are the proper tools to get if you don't have them? Yes. I think that's the other big thing, right? Because yep. maybe it is time to upgrade, but not to what you think. Right. I mean, yeah, there's a whole other topic. <laughs> <another> topic. <laughs> so, uh, guys, if you've been listening on audio, thank you so much. If you're watching on mm -hmm. YouTube, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, we thank you both. And mm -hmm. for if you're watching or listening, we'll say check out the audio podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts. Anchor's Wherever not a thing anymore. Your, it's all Spotify it's now. All Spotify. Um, and then, yeah, go and make sure you smash the like button and the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. We are working to our 1,000 subscribers. At the recording date, we have 638 subscribers. Nice. We are trucking along. Yes. Super excited. And comment down below. Did I mention comment down below? Share this video with like 17 friends. Sure. Is 17. that a challenge? Yes. I bet you can't share this video with 17 points. <laughs> you can't do it. I bet you can't. I bet you they can. I, wait, who's good cop and who's bad cop? We're both good cop and bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you they can't not do it. <laughs> now, maybe it's been there. Okay, we should probably end this now. We probably should. Okay, go for All it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>